In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove the background for an emoji or basically a general image on your phone. I'm going to give you methods that work both in Android and iOS. So I have these two images that I want to work with as an example. This one has a plain background, as you can see, and this one has a little bit more of a complex background, just like not one single color. So I'm going to try to remove the background for both using different methods. Um, so let's get to it. First, let's remove the background for this one, the plain image. For this, we're going to go to this website on your phone called remove.bg okay so once we are on the side remove.bg you can just click here upload image you can do this both on android and ios and we're going to select our image this one with the plain background and this will automatically actually just remove the background it will kind of recognize what it's supposed to be the image and then what is supposed to be the background and it removes it all now this works great for the ones that have a plain background but if you have something else going on inside the background then it kind of gets confused and it doesn't remove certain parts so that's why i recommend you to use this option only when you have something that has a plain background so we can download this one yeah blah blah blah, blah. yes download the preview and that should give us our image let's go check the downloads folder here we go now we have our image without the background so for this other one i'm going to use a different method i'm going to use an app actually from the play store you can go and use the same method that i showed you at the beginning but this is basically just another option where's the play store here in the play store you can just google background eraser and choose the one handy closet that ink that's the developer name whatever i'm going to click open so i can show you how to remove the background with this one so we have this home screen and a bunch of ads um, we can click here load a photo and we're going to select our image here with this Patrick and you can choose kind of like just trim the edges trim whatever is not really necessary you know so that you have less to work with so I'm just going to remove the majority of that and then click done. So let me just give you a brief tour. This has an amazing feature that whatever you tap, what actually erases is the upper part. So for example, if I tap here, but what erased the image was actually the upper part. So the option that controls this is right here, cursor offset. You can make it to erase right where you're tapping or you can do the distance thing, which is very recommended because sometimes your thumb is like not allowing you to see what you're actually deleting. So with this, you can move around and you can see where you're actually erasing. So you have the manual mode, which is doing that, that I'm doing right now. You have the auto, which is going to basically just like delete one chunk of the color where you select it. For example, if I select this um, yellow, then it's going to delete this whole yellow piece, right? You see, just kind of like move it while holding and then release, boom. And then it kind of like just you know, deletes that chunk of color. I don't really like it much because it kind of like it leaves the crumbs around the edges. Um, I like this option right here more. It's called magic. It kind of like just goes erasing the whole um, color that you select. And so if you go all the way into the actual image, then it deletes that, but you can just go back. And there is an even better option. It is the history kind of thing. It's, um, repair it allows you to bring back some parts of the image right so you can just basically erase the erasing <laughs> sounds silly but yeah that for example if i delete this whole thing whoa oh my gosh i messed it up i can do repair and then i can kind of like just erase the erasing um if that makes any sense I think I'm going to coin that thing. Erase, erasing. There you go. So sometimes you can leave a little crumbs around the edges. I'm going to show you also how to fix that. So once you are done with the erasing, we're going to do done. And here's the part where you can get rid of whatever crumbs were left around the edges. If you go smooth, then it doesn't remove anything. But if you go all the way to five, then it kind of like erases at least a few pixels off the edges of the image. So if there were like some white spots or like blue spots, whatever in this case, um, that can also remove that, um, which makes it way easier, right? I'm going to click save and click finish and you should be done. Let's go to our gallery. And we have it here in the eraser folder. We created a new folder called eraser. And you can see that the image now has the erase background. But if I go to Discord and try to upload it, you will see that I will encounter a problem. And I want to show you what that problem is. If you can see here the info, the image is 386 kilobytes. So let's open Discord. Um, here I am in my server. I'm going to click the three dots, then settings and em emoji. And I'm going to click upload emoji. Let's go to files, 
So you see I have my background erase images. This one is 15 kilobytes, so I'm going to upload it. Boom. Upload. Yes, I can leave it there. So this one went through. No problem. If I try to upload the other one, you will see what the problem is. I have this one right here. Background erased. Upload. File cannot be larger than 256 kilobytes. You see, they have this cap to the size of an emoji, which is that it cannot be larger than 256 kilobytes. And this one that I was trying to upload was 380 something kilobytes. So we need to make this image smaller. I'm gonna show you how to do so. Let's go to this site called Pick Resize. All right, so here we're going to choose a file is our photo here we have our image that is 386 kilobytes i'm going to select this one scroll down continue to edit picture yes let's go scroll down where is this thing that's the image super big so normally depending on the size of the image you can choose what percentage you wanted to resize it to for example this one was 380 kilobytes um with 50 percent it's fine i'm just gonna keep it on 50 because come on it's totally fine so Let's see, there's nothing to choose here. Let's make sure that we have PNG selected, PNG, click again, PNG, there we go. I'm done, resize my picture, click on that. And amazing, here we have the original was 370 whatever, and now the new resized version is 152 kilobytes, which is lower than the 256 that Disco requires. That makes the image available to be uploaded. So I'm gonna click save to disk and click continue. Or if it doesn't save, in case you're having that problem, you can just click view image and then just press and hold. And then you can just do download image, right? Let's go to gallery. Okay, these are the downloaded ones, is it? Yeah, it adds the letter RSZ. So you can see this one is the one that was resized. And now it is 156 kilobytes. So let's go to Discord and server settings. Emoji, upload emoji files and i'm going to choose the 156 one right upload all right so it went through i'm just going to name it something like uh, i don't know there you go i'm just going to click save all right so we have our emoji called grrr let's go to a normal channel box commands and choose our emoji do we have the grr one here we go that's our new emoji send ladies and gentlemen you have your emoji with the background erased <laughs> Bruh. Remember that you can be featured at the end of this video. So if you have any tutorial ideas, come to our Discord server and drop them here. I hope you found this one helpful. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Have a wonderful rest of the day, my friends. Stay safe out there.